Hello and welcome to the Sewing Machines UK tutorial on how to set up your Texitronic 3. It can be pretty daunting when you get this bit of kit sent on a pallet to your house and setting it up yourself can take a bit of time if you don't have any guidance. In this video we're just going to show you a step by step on how you would set it up if you ordered one from us. As well as a few tips for getting started with your new machine. When it first arrives it will come covered in plastic and other protective material which you just want to remove. Then underneath the table you'll find the thread stand which is stored there to prevent it getting damaged as it is one of the more fragile pieces. To attach you simply just want to take off the nut and then place it through the hole as you can see here in the video and then reattach the nut onto the bottom of the bolt to secure it to the table. As you can see in the video we do it finger tight but you can use a tool to do it tighter if you prefer. Next up you're going to have to open your accessories tray, all of your accessories should be in this drawer. So the things we're going to need is the power lead, the magnet to go on the tray, the mushroom which is the black piece of plastic, the rear spoke which is the grey piece of plastic, two hinges and your bottle of oil which should be pre-measured to be exactly what you need in the tray. Okay you want to assemble like so, you want to place the mushroom here, the magnet in this little well, and then the final piece of the puzzle goes here. Okay, we're gonna move on to putting the head of the machine into the tray. We would recommend that you get someone to help you with this as it can be quite heavy, but if you are gonna do it yourself, you should pick it up in the places that our engineer shows you right here. Right, we've got in the tray. There's only a few more steps till you can start using the machine. Firstly you want to attach the hinges so that you can actually access the tray to put oil in it. This is quite easy. Simply lift the machine slightly and place them into the slots at the back as you can see here. You're going to want to mind your fingers on this part. Next is the power plug. You just want to plug it into the available socket at the back. It should only go in in one orientation so I wouldn't worry about putting it in the wrong way. Make sure to put the sleeve back over it for safety purposes. Now to attach your power cable. As you can see, again, there's only one way that this can go together. So you need to get the right orientation, then basically clip them together. Then screw this cap on so that they're nice and securely together. At this point, you should fill the tray with the provided oil. Simply lean back the machine and then just empty the bottle of oil provided into there. It should take you to the fill line. I'll now let our engineer, Neri, talk you through the functions of the machine. That's the switch of the machine. Turn on. All good. So now let's take a thread and thread the machine properly. I'm just going to point out that this is a shortcut method. As the machine's needle comes threaded, you can just simply tie the thread to the existing thread that's round the spoke at the top and just pull it through. Okay, make sure nothing's on the way. Turn the machine needle up position. You have to take the thread out of the needle and pull it through. Mm. 
Here we go. Stuck with the machine. Just a reverse lever. So the machine will stop with the needle down position as a health and safety. So if you want the needle up or down, just press that button. Needle will go up and down, up and down, up and down. So as soon as you finish the job, if you press the pedal backwards, the needle will go up and the machine is going to cut the tread for you. So use the new lifter and it will come out in nicely. Also, when you do this, you lock the button. So you may basically stop the needle go up and down. So if you want to make that connection start again, you have to press the pedal forward a bit and then everything go back to normal so you go reverse finish the job pedal backwards cut machine goes easily it's all done So if you want to do the bobbin winder quickly, you got the bobbin here in the drawer, plenty of them. Yeah, so I'm just gonna use the same thread for now, just to thread it up quickly. I'll, I'll take the thread out of the needle, leave that way. I'm gonna leave the presser foot up to don't hit metals. So I'll break here for now, and I use. They add a tension unit to tread and give tension to the bobby. Here you go. Bobby does go here. That is the connection when I so just roll, roll a little bit the tread between and press the pedal forward. As soon as they fall, they will disconnect it automatically. Disconnect automatically. So you can take the bobbin. Got a little knife over here to help to cut the thread. I'll take the bobbin case just to swap the thread and just fill it up. And I'll put that in the drawer. That's how you do it. Go here. Yeah. Back in the machine. So you need to match that little square with this little round one on the hook. So as soon as I did in there just press it harder and you're gonna hear the click so that means it's connecting properly and now I'm gonna trade again you can do this as you so I'm just doing this way just to show you the quicker version There you go, ready to switch off. Oh, good again. I'll take it from here. That was our engineer Neri showing you how to use the Texitronic 3. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll be back again soon with another tutorial or video. 
don't forget to check out the website at sewingmachinesuk.co.uk and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!